If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, like, or comment on this post. Feel free to share it with whomever you feel to allow us to reach more audiences. Thank you. So here's the rules. It's the Modern Sin and Sacrifice campaign with modern ships. No fleets imported, no admirals imported. I gotta build up everything. Only weapons unlocked is the torpedoes. I think maybe mines, I don't remember about that. Valkyries unlocked. Commanders no imports. About co the costs are set there. And the Mark 7 is available uh, on those two ships. Okay, what Cylon fleet here? Smoke them only here. Doing this in the Sacrifice Modern Campaign. Trying to decide between numerous strategic options. Um, oh, yeah, that's. I want to bring Daedalus in and, and go to Major Mission 2, but I may have to wait a while to do that. What's my jump range on the Daedalus? Can I, or can I jump it without resulting in massive combat? Can I go here? No. Can I go there? Alright, let's confirm that jump. We'll use Palace to keep the Cylons bottled up. We don't need to just have massive combat. Okay. Now I'm going to go in my turn. Pokemon only here. Mercury actual. I remember the best. A fortified colony is under attack. Or it's not met. The other two Pulsarcus can't do that mission. Attack on Caprica, Toron, and Pallas. Big but doable Cylon fleet. So we're going to have to do. Three, maybe the other two will be auto resolved because they will have no chance of losing forces. We shall see, but we will proceed into the battles. 55 is fought, is is fighting well and gradually building up its combat skills. And that's the point. You now let's build up the admirals and not run out of money. This is a long-term strategy. Um, you have to get. You have to get uh, Jubal Sarkis mission in order to get the Galactica, and you need Galactica to win the game. But Cavern is going to get attacked every turn until the Cylons run out of forces. So the idea is chew them up, cause a lot of high casualties, build up your admirals. This is going to be a long term strategy. It's going to take way longer than the summer to get this battle done. But we shall see. Control it. Control A. C. Yes, Commander. On it, Commander. We got a Discord message. Do we have a Discord message? Not. Back to the battle. So, 
pick the ships individually. The Columbia. B. We have to keep fighting it out in Caprica until we win or the Cylons give up on Caprica. This bonus is very juicy for Caprica. Deploying countermeasures. It's a good thing to have. This is the launch fighters set up walls type of turn. Understood. Each one is going to be tasked with the defense of the assault raptors. All they're going to do is take care of the assault raptors. Control two. Control two. Defend the Assault Raptors. That's for one turn. No, we don't want to go out screen. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. Check your solutions before engaging. Yes, sir.
Rooker gets attacked every turn, it seems. As long as we hold him off, we're gonna, need, we're gonna need one of those monster fleets one of these days. That's gonna be. That's gonna hurt. These guys to attack. This is a fight, fighter micromanagement to the nth degree. We want to take out this guy. Yes, sir. Why are we doing that? We want to defend the other Mark II squadrons. Mark VII squadrons. So that'll engage them. Check the capital ships, make sure they're okay. Yes, sir. So last key, turn on maps, check what our targets are. We got nothing near the battle stars. We got missiles inbound, but light traffic should be stopped. Okay. Microfighters have been micromanaged. Everything is going to happen. Let's go to monitor. I pick my target of the turn. Now that monitor this guy, make sure he goes away. Quickly. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Come on, come on, come on. Incoming. Missile tubes prepped.
So say we all. Damn. Give something to do anyway. Hello, hello! Welcome to my battle. You're on. You're being you recorded. If you, hi, who's there? My mic is. Ah, oh, good morning. How you doing? Uh, do you see the battle? Am I still sharing? Uh, I don't know. I'm That's sharing. Right. About, I'm doing my. I'm doing my long grinding campaign to replace the story chapters as I continue to get savaged on the comments and nobody defends me and my team. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been working and sleeping. Yeah, I have also. I worked very late yesterday afternoon as well. Um, oh my, my, my. Look at all those nasty Cylon fighters attacking me. Hmm. They don't look too friendly. They're not very, very, they're not being friendly with me at all. This fleet's only 8,300, I got 7,900 points, so it's pretty, I should be able to dispatch them relatively quickly. If, you, if you're thinking about having a match or something. I can do. Okay, okay, let's see if we've got... Uh, air strategy first. So basically, my assault raptors are wasting their time defending against missiles. I guess that's not a waste of time, but they have flak ship. They're defending flak capable ships, so not exactly the best use of their time, but the squadrons are kicking butt and taking names. And the squadron battle is winning. That's what we want. We want the win, 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 win. So, how's life been with you, besides working hard? Um, not much really. Um, I'm away next week, so I don't really get to relax next week. Taking a holiday? Uh, no, I'm I'm at work. Um. What's different than last week when you were at work? Well, I'm away, so. Oh, you're away. You're. I, uh, I don't get to come home. A trip for work, you mean? Hmm. Oh, you going anywhere interesting? Not really. Oh, okay. Just don't like being away from home. Yeah, I get it. All right. Silence seem to like the idea of boarding my ships massively. I, had, I, I did a test battle with the Adolus earlier this morning, and uh, they boarded the crap out of it. But that's, that was cool, because it just put it in full defensive and absorbed all those... It, it had like 500 Marines on Daedalus. It's very helpful in, in dealing with uh, large numbers of heavy raiders. Any fighters on screen? Okay, so we 
we're going to do is we're going to check the posture on these to, to leave them on automatic, but concentrate on fighters as a priority. So left turret squadrons don't focus on anything because there's nothing to focus on this turn. And the question is, do I turn on flak or not? I'd say probably yeah, just to be. I'm sitting, sitting, sitting in a sea of PCM, and I'm thinking about turning on flak. target here? No, my uh, silence aren't approaching me, so we'll just do what I just did on the other guys. Two, we'll put the left turrets on squadrons if any squadrons appear, otherwise they'll just take any target that comes in. But winning the air battle is important because we don't want to get our ships scuffed up because I can't build any new ships except to double the price and I don't have enough. I need to go and chop up a banana. Okay, Back in it. come to uh, enjoy. Turrets, left squadrons, auto fire. Let's see about managing their targets. Uh, use paint, paint. Can we zap anybody with a missile? Can't get a lock. Okie dokie. PCM or something, we need something quickly. Ah, next PCM. Left PCM to try again for another battle. PCM's prepped. B. Drop it right in here in front of us. On it, Commander. Okay. Okay, let's go for nuclear defensiveness. Out of range, bummer. Phobos gets the missiles. That's fine. Let's pick some things to. Uh, you get. If all of us gets hit. Yes. Because these things don't stack, you don't need to double double them up. No, he's got a raider. Because let's have some squadrons go after that raider. No, he is. 
good, good. Alright, let's see what happens with the capital ships. So say we all. Alright, we're gonna wait, go for neutral and target him for sure, but anything special to them. Understood. targets because it don't have, doesn't help. Right. Come on, these squadrons are being savage. I 
so we got that happening there. Let's get this. These guys on the 28 squad now. Alright, watch the battle from a strategic standpoint. Oh, we've got... Let's see what he does without focusing, uh, how he does against them without focusing. Heavy rear square coming in, we definitely got guns, we've said it's for our squadrons. We have no other good targets. Let's watch what happens. <laughs> Say we all. Try to crack my firewall. We can't have that. Tick, tick. Okay. Yes, Commander. Target. So between the two Valkyries, you got a good target. This is a good damage to the robots that are stuck trying to hack me. Got no torpedoes hit it with, so let's see what happens. Let's try doing the Jupiter 2.
Okay, I think we got everything under control. All the fighter wings are out there. All the instructions are there. So say we all. Yes, Commander. Right back here. Target the nearest ship. Took them on board, gave them the welcome mat, the exclusive treatment. Yes, Commander. Understood. Paint some targets as we head back to the ship.
six. I'm going to be on the way back to the ship without actually being recalled right now. We'll just take them to the vicinity. This picture at the same time. <laughs> yes, Commander. to missiles. Missile tubes prepped. What have they got? What has that one's got ready? Nothing ready. We don't have to flack this turn then, more than likely. I'm back. Welcome back. The battle is progressing relatively well for me. My airway has been savage, but I don't think I'm still winning. Are you ramming a Argos? Oh, no. Optical illusion. Huh. I am blasting an Argos with a lot of guns. I'm testing the chumby bumby theory of the, of the game. Try and fly all your battles at neutral posture. See here, what's he got ready to shoot at me? Oh, nothing. Um, he has got a problem because he's hidden behind <coughs> a rock. So I'm going to. One of the things I don't like is the fact that for a robotic race, they didn't have bigger ships really than than the humans. Well, since they were invented by the humans, I would think that they are somewhat limited by human technology, wouldn't you think? But they developed their own. We know that because they've got all the other stuff, and they're superior in every way. So I was kind of expecting there to be, like, massive base stars and stuff, but... Well, it's kind of... <clears throat> There's some practical issues there, I'm sure. Yes, Commander. I guess I gotta fix my. I fix my armory. Well, I'm flacking? No, don't flack. No reason to be flacking. Now I can fix the armory. System repairs underway. And check my targeting computers. Alright. Why are you continuing to shoot at that freaking. Hydra. I mean, the Hydra's got to go. I get it, but still. Interesting. I've discovered discovered the the beauty of the point defense uh, can point defense PD somethings. PDCs. Yeah, they're not really called PDCs though. They're 
turrets, point defense turrets. Yeah, we all we mostly prefer them as BDCs. Yes, you're absolutely right. Now, what do we do with our two Valkyries? I was flying my fleets with one Valkyrie, and the, the Valkyries were just getting savaged. You give, you set the Valkyries up as a little pair of partners in crime, and things work way better. So this Valkyrie will fire at the nearby Argos, and this Valkyrie will continue its battle with the Hydra, which I can't understand why I can't just take the Hydra the hell out. Oh, maybe it needs to be... Maybe because it was full defensive for other reasons while well, it was getting missiles, slacked by missiles earlier. That could be why it's not performing so well at long range, because it's not set up to perform well at long range. So this should be over in about five minutes, maybe ten with so the replay. Um, you want for a co-op match after that? Yeah, I can do. My squadrons are pretty much independent. I actually did a recall without hitting recall on these guys. I wanted them to continue defending against munitions on their way back to the bat, to their base ship, so I said, don't recall them, just move them in semicolon. Select them in semicolon and, and, and put them in the general direction of their, their base ship. Now they're in a position to jump in there and recall and get some... Uh, get some... Get some new missiles on their missile racks. I might have been switch to recall. recall. Recalling squadron. Ah, there we go. Ah, their orders will show the same. Alright, there we go. We're gonna watch two battles. He, he's at 13. I'm just going to watch him with our mouse. And here we go. Any commentary on my battle strategy? It's hard to see when I can't. I move the camera a lot. So. Somebody just nuked himself. That well, seems odd and inconvenient. Well, you remember that? You see that Argos I was telling you was behind the rock. He just he also had a nuke ready to fire, so you he, he wanted to fire that nuke. Oh, and he is firing a nuke right now. There's the nuke. So whoever nuked himself was the other Argos that just blew up. So this is an obvious situation. It's, we have to go full defensive and and in case one of those in case the missiles get through or the nukes get through, we have to be full defensive this turn. So we're breaking the chummy bumby rule. Have you ever met Chummy Bumby? I don't know. He's quite an interesting fella. He's like college age. And he believes that if he loses a ship in a campaign, he has to start over. Understood. It's not like it's like, that's not like a... It's well, not the like entire a, campaign? Yeah. Well, no. Uh, he, he goes back to last save until he conducts the battle and doesn't lose a ship. I conducted a battle suppose against the 70s. I suppose that's one way of, you know, spending your time. It doesn't feel like war. There's nothing at risk under those circumstances, but whatever. To each his own. He's an excellent player. He knows the game very well, so... Armory's being repaired on one of my ships. I can't have that. I have to turn the armory on. So, what's the armory's being, armory's being repaired in... Oh, I can also PCM for extra protection. I wonder, I've always wondered, where's the release point where PCM is fastest to activate so it gets the most missiles quickly? Don't know. Alright, and look at the... Okay. Damage there. Oh, okay. Oh, these guys are all happy. And on board, the missiles reloaded, so we'll launch them. And we'll drop a PCM. Deal with the later missiles, maybe. Oh, this one's gonna work. PCM's prepped. Oh, wait, that won't work. The flak is on, so I can't do that. Try again. The flak, I can go forward with it if, if it's forced enough to get through. If I get nuked here, I am so stupid. Because I should not get nuked here. We got 
got these guys here. Okay. And the Valkyries, are, I think, introduced the Flak doesn't turn off when you select and turn off the multiple ships. Flak sometimes doesn't turn off you when I have one ship selected. That's kind of weird. Turn off Flak. Turn off Flak. Since we've got nothing to shoot, anyway, maybe we'll fix a fire control for a turn. And this guy here, however, will fire a PCM because we've got them and we want to use them. And the fighter wing. Wow, this guy's out here. He's attacking the Cylon base star. Oh, he's attacking the Scorpion Squadron. He's got three hull points. Also attacking this, the Scorpion Squadron is that squadron, who's got 35 hull points. He had 60 when I dispatched him, though. How about my Mark II Vipers from the Mercury? Uh, from the Jupiter II. I do wish we could get the... We could put Mark VII's on... on, on Jupiter II's from our modern scenarios. That would be... Really nice enhancement. All right, so these guys are just doing the. Uh, let's take these guys, get them, take them off the base star, and let's try, let's chase some nukes. See if we can chase some nukes and get some, catch some nukes here. And we'll keep pan the camera around, show the Cylon's perspective. I was looking for some, uh, some acerbic color commentary from you about my choice of tactics, but you, just, you, you didn't take the easy, easy, obvious answer there. Sorry, I'm doing other stuff too. I get it, I get it. I proposed to Voldemort that we asked him if we could make sets for our, for my, for the CIC scenes for the book. He seemed to be very cold on the idea. I figured... If, Right now, the dialogue in CIC happens against exteriors of the shot of the, of the fleet. I'm thinking maybe, maybe having the dialogue happen against images like you know Dratus, whatever. Not necessarily accurate, but somewhat re relevant. But then I had the idea, well, why don't we make a little set in Space Engineers? And that idea was what? What kind of set do you want to build in Space Engineers? A CIC set for shooting footage. C C C I, C I I could help you build one um, if you, you want. Are you you have the skills? Are you good at building space engineers? I have to get I have to buy the game, and get an account before we start. start. I'm alright. Um... All right. Um, let's talk about that uh, when I'm not recording and see what about that. Um, yeah, I think this turn is about ready. It needs to happen. Ready. These missiles have been frozen in space for long enough. It depends on which CIC you're trying to go for. Pegasus. Pegasus. Yes. We've got. We've got. We have a, for the game, we can, we can always take footage from CIC from the uh, game itself for the Jupiter because that's based on BSG 75. Ooh, the nuke did get. I got nuked. How the heck did that happen? I, did, I forgot to turn on flak? Oh, man. Well, I guess I have to turn this fleet around and show a different armor face at the very least. Well, I'm not going to meet the chummy bumby rule of not having any uh, hangar got slammed by the nuke. Actually, if you're going to get nuked, that's pretty pretty much the way to make it happen. All right. Um, something else I discovered. You know, when you're getting virused, um, it mm. appears that uh, the uh, ship virusing you has trouble moving. So a good thing you want to do to that is hit it with missiles or torpedoes if you got them like this this guy is is factory fresh he's got some torps but uh and he can fire him this turn but i'm thinking he's going to if he hits the mercury he's going to hit hit it with a good armor face anyway i'm thinking the thing to do here is to um go back to chummy bumby posture and uh hit him with some torps Because he can't when he's they seem to be pretty stationary when they when they when they hack you. And 
Because he hears zapping me, I have to hit him with something. Well, they don't have to be. They can be at full maneuvering, but they but usually you want to go full defense, full t uh, hack, and full maneuverability just to avoid to the uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's, enemy shooting you down. From a game standpoint, that, that makes a lot of sense. All right, this I think it's time to take out the Cerberus. I think I repaired. Uh, I repaired my. Well, I can't believe that this squadron is still holding out, hitting. Well, I guess the Argos has no guns, so you can't really hurt the fighters. So I guess that makes a little. That makes some sense uh, with regards to the outcome there. On it, Commander. Okay, since we're under a Cerberus, we're going to try and blast the, the Cerberus out of the sky, or maybe we should try and blast the guy that's hacking our. Battlestar. No, out of range. Chumby Bumby battle technique is experiment is happening today. Oh, look as we have torpedoes. On it, Commander. So I'll put the guns on the Serb. Hopefully we're gonna punch a hole in this bottom. It's all a downward facing. But let's try making sh let's let's try hitting the this guy from another angle with his with the torps, see how that works. And the Mark II squadrons are... I can't believe they didn't get that nuke. Well, they, didn't, they didn't get that nuke. What the heck? Yes, sir. Alright, we got these two squadrons here. Black is already on, so... Oh, let's, uh, let's have them... Oh, they can't paint that, right? Uh, only one paint target there, but we will send them off to make sure that the our dear friend, Mr. Phobos, dies yes, of sir. missile failure. Next turn, if he's still alive, okay, enter turn. He is smacking the Mercury hard. He smacked the Mercury hard, he died for his trouble. Excellent. You gotta get a good armor face up, facing the enemy here. PCM's handy. We'll do some supplementary flacking from the Jupiter 2. My flak wall, my flying flak wall. Alright. He's gonna see the only thing he's gonna hit is the Cerberus. Let's check what the damage control situation on the Mercury is now. Probably the hangar is whacked badly. Yep. That's okay, that's fine. Don't think I'm worried about him enough to go full defensive yet. And center of installation is almost complete on this ship. That's good. Yes, Downward facing sunroof. So we're just gonna fly at the enemy and attempt to drive by shooting. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I think the squadrons are fairly under control here. Oh yeah, these guys need new, new, new orders. Their new instructions are go Argo something. Make the target. Squadron target is confirmed. And while we're flying, we'll do a drive-by missileing of the. Cerberus, make sure it dies. This is the, the, the is classic battle the Mercury actual overkill. lose a mercury if I lose a mercury I'll probably lose the whole campaign so I don't have the money to buy another mercury the campaign rules I set up says buy get two 
to double the price for a Mercury, the list price, so it's going to cost me 5,600 points to PCM's buy prepped. a Mercury and build a Mercury. That's, that's a, I think, we'll, half our whole points are gone. That's going to be an expensive repair job. Let's, let's go full defensive. Because we have PCMs, we can turn off flak if we want to on the move. On it, Commander. I'm not even sure I want to do that. Oh, we've got another target here. I think this is going to end very quickly. What else do I want to do? I want to continue these guys. Are they still targeting the Argos? Yes. And they're almost there. So you're going to do H. You're going to ta target the Argos for bullets. That'll help with the fighters. And you're going to paint the other ship. Are there two Argoses? No. Cerberus. And let's get these guys going with the PCM to protect it against yes, possible Commander. attack from the our dear friend, the Cerberus. Anything he fires, I want to suppress anything he fires. So put that in your face. And On it, Commander. Oh, maybe I could make these guys defensive too. Yeah, because they're in missile range anyway. So just have them stop their attack. Stop right here in the, in the alley. And I have to repaint my targets. Okay, fine. I don't know why I give it the instructions. It says I got to stop painting. I have to redo paint every time if I change the the instructions to the unit. Is that dumb? Does that sound dumb to you, or is that just me? I wish they'd just auto do a lot more of the auto to be honest. They should auto paint like the weakest targets, and then the fifers should also go go after the weakest targets. But it just doesn't do. Yeah, we're asking for a better AI, and the the only thing that we know for sure about this this AI is the eye isn't true. It's not. It's not. It's it's it's, it's artificial, but it's not intelligent. Three guns blasting from below. Uh, did I fire missiles at him? I don't remember. No, I didn't have missiles last time. So let's fire some missiles up at the more dangerous of the two targets, which would be the Argos. At 221 hull points. Yes, Commander. Focus fire. Argos. Well, this match is lasting quite some time. Um, okay. Argos. Alright, maybe I can hit the Cerberus with. Alright, we got these. X. And then put them back on. Road toward recon. We have more missiles. Mercury's stable. Armor 13. He's got no, almost no bottom armor. Right armor is not facing the enemy. Jupiter 2. Why? I wonder why he's getting me messed up. I don't know. We're gonna pick on the uh, Serb. He's already got two sunroofs installed. Let's make it three. I really don't have a torpedo shot anybody unless I turn off flak, so turn off flak. And that's too low, it's gonna hit the Jupiter. That's high enough. I think that'll be clear. If it clears the Jupiter flak. We can fine tune it so it goes up a little bit. Focus fire. Oh, he's got a glad of focus fire. He's gonna blast the Cerberus. All right, let's watch this happen. I always struggle to find good angles to watch the battles from. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because it, it, it's a prelude to getting camera angles for the book chapters. I generally use the replays without too much modification when I'm just doing campaign posts on Friday. For Friday. <laughs> There's no reason to have 
flak because there's nothing that can hit me in the, from a flak viewpoint. Flak off fleet. I wonder if the Jupiter is more tr effective with broadsiding its its attack uh, or uh, it's not it's above its target anyway, so it doesn't much matter. I doubt this damaged Mercury. Wait till you see the repair bill. Onyx Commander. It's going to be awful, but it, you actually won't see the repair bill because I got another mission I got to do. I'm going to save in the middle, so I can play with you. I don't think this guy's gonna last very long. Do you think the server's gonna last more than five seconds? Hmm. Probably not. Not on that angle. Yeah, I don't think we need any fighters anymore. I'm gonna recall all the fighters as well because that will look good on the videotape if any of them get home. Recalling time. squadron. And just have these Valkyries. I guess I, I can have them open up a full offensive if I want to. There's no reason to be chummy bummy now. I don't see my, the, the, these guys can evade torpedoes at these zero, in neutral posture, and they can't evade torpedoes when they're in other modes. If the angle, if the torpedoes are shot at a bad angle. Computers. T. Ooh, 110 accuracy. So it's more accurate than it hits more times per shot than than one bullet, right? Okay, we're gonna watch the battle from. The perspective of the lowly Cylon. Goodbye, Cylon. That was the most entertaining. Did you watch that, uh, that when I, my new Mercury got nuked? I didn't see it, sorry. Time to make a bunch of I didn't mama see it actually either. I thought I had it defended and it's still going to get through and whack my, my, right, my starboard flight pod. Check your solutions before engaging. So, what kind of match are you Not sure. Um... Like six different configurations in my current. Incoming.
Valkyries to try and hold the other the systems that I've blocked the Cylons from entering, so. Alright, let's see. Let's stop the recording. Let's try hitting the right button so I can stop the recording. That would be helpful.